Hi guys, it's Andy here from DreamWorks.co.uk, and today I just want to show you how to change the background of an image. Now, this is one of Photoshop's probably most common uses, uh, changing the background of an image, and it's very easy to do. It just takes a moment. So, I thought I'd do a uh, tutorial on it anyway, just because it's uh, such a uh, some, some of us in such high demand, it's something that everyone wants to be able to do. It's very simple, but I know there's a lot of beginners who watch my videos, so I thought I would just go ahead and make it. So, here what I have two pictures. I have a picture of two people standing in front of the Eiffel Tower, and I have a picture of two guys standing in front of the Statue of Liberty. Now, this the picture of the two guys here is smaller, so I think I'm actually going to take the people from this, and I'm going to drop them into this picture. So it's actually extremely easy. We're just going to zoom in. And from here you have a couple of options of how we can do this. You can either go to your magnetic lasso tool here, click, drag, and just pull it round. The only problem with this is, as you can see, it's not too accurate. But if you have a very clearly defined uh, picture, then that won't be a problem. However, when there's a lot of colours and whatnot, for example, if you had a picture and maybe you said a black background, then this would be a suitable tool, but we're not going to use that because it's not as accurate. Instead, we're going to be using... Oh, also, you could use the uh, polygon lasso tool, and that should be okay for if you just uh, want to outline this. But the only problem with this tool is it doesn't... Uh, you can't make any curves with it, so it might be slightly inaccurate. Um, although it is fairly accurate, you can get a very good outline here, and you can do it quickly as well. But, as you can see when we go around curves like the head and whatnot, it, it becomes a bit of a problem. So, we're not going to use that either. Instead, I'm going to use my pen tool. So, select the pen tool, and from here, the pen tool, you can be extremely accurate with a pen tool. So, we're just going to go around here, and as you'll see it right now, the pen tool, with the pen tool you can create curves and you can make curves that perfectly fit the image which is why I would suggest using the pen tool over any other tool when you're doing this because it means you can get the cleanest cut so I'm going to do this fairly quickly Oops, because obviously I have a 10 minute limit and although this won't take 10 minutes I'd rather make this tutorial as uh, short as possible because really all it is from here is just uh, selecting just dragging around the image like so so I'll try to do this quickly I'm not going to be as accurate as you could be but when you come to do it uh, just take a few moments and then it will you'll have a lot more accurate uh, cut out and you won't get any of the bits of the background on it you'll just get the people so I'm just going to draw on this here and as you can see the pen tool is a very accurate tool I'm just going quickly and I'm still getting a fairly accurate uh, profile here so let's keep going around until we're finished I'm sure you're getting bored of watching this by now, so I'll just uh, pause the video. I'll do. I'll get a bit further around and po I'll pause the video, get a bit further around and continue it. So, give me a moment. Okay, so here we are. We've made a selection. Oops, isn't as accurate as I could have been, but I'd say that, that is a fairly fairly accurate uh, selection. So. As you can see, we're going to have to edit out this part in a moment. You see this uh, between the two legs here and here. Um, but rather than copying this and then editing it out, we're just going to pull down. Uh, oops. Let me just click back on here. Can hold down our uh, shift key. Oops. Oh, actually, we've created a new path there. We don't want to do that. We're just going to 
press uh, shift and click here and as you can see this has started a new path okay so now we'll have we'll have more than one path and I'm just going to do this quickly because I want to make this video as fast as possible and we're already about the five minute mark so okay there and then again I'm just going to pull down shift and I'm just going to click here and that will start a new path and then I'm just going to select the background that we don't want like so and now if we go to paths and hold down control and click on here it has made a selection of these two people now we're going to press control or command on the mic and C and that just copies it and then from here we're just going to uh, press control or command on the mic and hit V and it will just post them or paste them right here okay and as you know you might notice that it also automatically puts them in a new layer so obviously these are huge right now they're about the same size as the Statue of Liberty so I'm just going to press Control T or Command T on a Mac hold down shift and we're just going to drag them down to size and we'll just place them right next to here okay so the one problem that we have here is that obviously there's shadows around there uh, these guys but there isn't shadows around uh, these two here and something you can do is um, add a shadow to this so that it looks a lot more realistic but I think I'm going to save that for another video so I'll post a second video showing you how to add a shadow to this so it looks even more realistic okay and it looks like they're really there so I hope this has been a helpful video for you beginners out there. Um, have a nice day.